Hey guys, how you doing? It's Christopher Williams, DC. Okay, so please subscribe my channel at the bottom, please. Just do that real quick. Um, like the video because that's really good also. You can comment, I don't care if you comment, but just like the video and subscribe because I will be posting literally every single day. If not every day, it's every other day or it's every other week. Or it's every week. <laughs> But no, seriously, let me just go ahead and just subscribe, please. Um, because I don't want you to miss out on anything, and I'm going to be posting some things, and some people are just now starting to find out who I am. So I'm kind of like this hidden guy in the universe and the world nobody even knows about. Um, but anyway, now you know me, okay? So you can tell someone else about my page, of course. Um, share it with someone on your social media page or whatever. But uh, I just wanted to say one thing. Um, because a lot of people have their views about how they feel about certain things, but I know some people haven't had the opportunity to talk or get their point of view out. You know, it might be the same point of view as other people, but this is my point of view, and you're going to get my point of view and my vision of things. Um, I, I honestly do not think that um, senior citizens should be behind the wheel. Um, the reason why I said that is because um, it's not that, you know, the safety as if someone was to drive extremely too fast, but I would actually think that it would be more of a too slow of a thing. Um, you can get a ticket for driving too fast, but however, you can get also get a ticket for driving way too slow. So, I mean, it has really annoyed me and bugged me because... And I know people have grandparents and they have a life to live too. They need transportation to get around. They have to support themselves and then to maintain their health and responsibilities. They are grandparents out there who are um, have grandchildren or their own children depending on them for help. So they're needing a car to get around. Um, I just feel like, you know, it's a lot dangerous because they tend to drive slow or make last minute decisions slowly. Like they don't, like if it's time for someone, for someone like a senior senior, I don't want to say an old person um, because I have way more class than that. But um, I'm going to have to say an older person. Um, some of them are past the age of, if you're past the age of 60 and, um, you know, and you're driving, I think that you should be reevaluated. And the reason why I say that is because I was pulling out, and this is like not the only time, but it's multiple times where I had issues with seeing citizens behind the wheel. Um, I've had multiple times where I literally pulled out well, they were at the end of the parking lot. They was trying to get out, but they stopped. So I was coming down on my bicycle or when I'm walking, you know, or when I'm in a car with someone and they're driving, it's the same thing. Um, they decide to pull out at the last minute when you get ready to go, but a younger person would be more alert and they will actually see that. And I'm just like, okay, that was so dangerous. Like you had this whole opportunity to go when I was way back here. And now you, when I get really close, then you decide to make an emergency action and proceed. That is dangerous. Uh, what's also dangerous is if a pedestrian is crossing the street or trying to cross the street before large amounts of traffic starts to come, you would get a senior citizen to drive really, really slow. And then at the last minute, it's too late for you to try to cross over because they have given other cars opportunity to catch up with the rest of the people in front of them. And it's causing people to, like pedestrians have to stand back and wait when they have places to go to. And, um, you know, I just feel like, you know, more accidents now are caused by senior citizens. I'm not sure if that is a, um, a real statement or not, but I just don't think that they need to be behind the wheel um, at all. 
Um, now, however, I've seen some senior citizens that do know how to drive, but it's very rare now. Um, I understand that they need to be cautious and drive correctly and make sure that, if, that they don't hit a pedestrian or another car or an animal. But when you get to a certain age, I think that it's time for you to kind of let someone else drive. Perhaps you have a grandson or granddaughter or someone in the family who want to drive that they can get that experience. Um, you might want to let them go ahead and take over, give them a responsibility, um, you know, and let them be the driver um, of the family. It's just really dangerous um, out there trying to get, um, and this is not all senior citizens, this is just some senior citizens. I don't think they need to be behind the wheel because it's very dangerous out there. And you get it, you're getting more and more accidents involving them actually driving. And I've had times to where I was literally in a, in like in a bad, shocking situation um, because they decided to make last minute decisions to proceed or to stop. And I'm like, how can you not see this whole person or how can you not see this whole vehicle or this whole bus? Like, there are more problems with senior citizens behind the wheel than there are anything. So yes, there are underage drivers and texting and driving, you know, that's causing issues on the road, but I literally think that, that you know, they should be reevaluated and if you do have your license, I think it's more better if you proceed with taking cautious activities or when you get behind the wheel, perhaps let someone else drive for you. Um, it may not be the best idea to take the wheel and do whatever you want, like trying to proceed when you know that you may have problems seeing, uh, maybe you have problems hearing, but the biggest thing is, is the problem seeing. Um, just being aware of who's around you about making the next move. If some of their next move is not necessarily all the way fast enough, it's not quick enough, for them to respond. So I think that, you know, yes, too fast is dangerous, but too slow is dangerous. It's just as well as too fast. Um, because you can, because I was literally riding my bike and it was on a sidewalk. You're not supposed to be riding a bike on a sidewalk. But if you do, you want to go slow, you know, because it is literally, um, annoying to see someone ride a bicycle really fast on a sidewalk. But my thing is, is that all the other cars seen me. So I was riding my bike and I was coming down by the hospital and I was riding on a sidewalk and there was a parking lot and two cars was in the um, driveway trying to come out, but they were behind the line. So the car behind them seen me and the cars on the road seen me, of course, and then the, the senior citizen was that was in front of the other car that was in the driveway. She pulled up to the curb part where you were pulled in, which you're supposed to be behind that, and waited until like it was a whole minute, you guys. I'm I'm riding my bicycle. I was a whole minute away, and I got she had the whole. It was no cars coming down the street. It was a gap. It was open. So, okay, it was probably like two or three cars, but they were, they moved really fast. By the time I got there, it was no car there, okay? It was no car there coming down the street, probably like a good um, 30 seconds, almost a whole minute. Um, so, as soon as I pulled up right there in front, because my bicycle did not have any brakes, that's not nobody's fault, but still, that person should have cautious of someone else coming past them when they're pulling in or out of a parking lot. Um, and then I'm a bicyclist of that. But anyway, um, my bicycle brakes um, got messed up because I ended up falling on a bicycle, but that's a long story. I was, well, it's not. I was eating ice cream on a bike in a parking lot and I fell. Boom. 
Um, so I messed up the wheel and the brakes, but still, that's a whole nother story. Um, and seriously, no joking. So I was pulling out, so as I was coming past the, the actual driveway, she waited until I got right there and like literally like three footsteps and then she made it to proceed, to pro she proceeded to go really fast, like, like it's too late now. You had this whole entire time to actually pull out of the parking lot. You could have hit me, but thank God I was able to make a final decision and go around her like that at the last minute. And that's not the only time I've had issues with senior citizens driving. I had multiple things wrong. So I just feel like it would be more better if they do not get behind the wheel and, and let someone else drive. Or it would be better if they just go ahead and just create self-driving vehicles for them, like they need a mode, like they need to be able to scan their finger on a car, and once they're at a certain age, they need to, like that, you know, determine if it should be self-driving or not. Now in the future, we all wanna have self-driving cars eventually, of course, I know this, but that should be a new technology, like they should be able to scan their finger or scan the picture of their face, and then well, as soon as they get in the car, just like a breathalyzer, um, to start the car or push button start, just the same thing. They need to develop a new technology so it can determine that person's age. So then it will be determined if they need um, someone doing a driving for them, and then it'll be safer because too slow is just as dangerous as too fast. So that's it, you guys. I don't have anything else to say. So thanks for watching, Christopher Williams, DC. Um, please subscribe my channel at the bottom and like the video as well. Take care. See you guys. Bye. <laughs>